Okay, this is probably my standby Instapot um, recipe or the start of it is frozen chicken because everybody, when you get home, you're like, crap, I should have taken the chicken out, thawed it out, you know, got it out two days ago so it was ready to go. Um, so frozen chicken in the Instapot, which is a everyday week or every week occurrence at our house. So then we're going to add in, um, you can cook with plain water or with chicken broth. So our favorite um, way of buying chicken broth that we have found is it's chicken broth concentrate. So once it's open, you keep it in the refrigerator. But I never remember to buy chicken broth in the can or you have a recipe and it calls for half of a can of chicken broth. So what do you do with the rest of it? So I love the concentrate because you mix two teaspoons to get a cup of broth or one teaspoon for half a cup of broth. So we have really liked it um, just because I can mix and match and we use it tons cooking in the Instapot and I don't feel like I waste chicken broth like I used to. So I just have hot water, cup and a half. So I'm gonna add three teaspoons into that. Yeah, it's a liquid, um, and it just stirs in. And a lot of times at my house, I don't even measure. I give it a good squirt as I pour the water in um, the Instapot. We're going to pour, just pour it straight in. And then this is where the fun of this comes in. I cook it a lot just like this, or I add in some spices. So some of my favorites are like a spicy Chipotle ranch, an adobo seasoning, I have fajita seasoning, and I have chipotle lime seasoning. So depending on what I'm gonna do with the chicken from this point, decides on what seasoning I'm gonna put. Sometimes I do just plain because I wanna turn it into two or three meals and just fill up my Instapot once. Um, today we are going to um, turn some of this chicken into some cracked chicken. So I'm just gonna add in a tablespoon of my spicy chipotle ranch seasoning, and I'm just gonna sprinkle it in there. The one thing I am gonna show you guys on this video that we've not talked about before is that there is, so you'll wanna bring it up, um, a maximum fill line. So as you can see, this is the maximum you can fill because you have to have room for, um, the liquid to turn into steam for it to work correctly. So if you fill past your max line, um, you're going to have a disaster. So that's one thing you want to just be aware of. So just like before, we are going to put our lid on. And I am telling you, I cannot do this backwards. So it's just lining it up, clicking it on. And I cook, pressure cook for 12 minutes and you can use the poultry setting. Um, I have not played with all of the settings on my Instapot nearly enough to be super confident in my ability to use all of them. So I just use the pressure cook and we're gonna cook this for 12 minutes. And then when this comes out, the perfect part about this is it is, I mean, just fork tender shreddable chicken. Um, so at that point, we use this chicken um, to make chicken tacos. We cut it up and put it on salad for a chicken salad. You can do so many things with it from this point. So as a college student, um, I kind of wish I'd had an Instant Pot because you could cook once and have, you know, a week's worth of lunches ready to go. And the nice thing is, is if you cook it just in your chicken broth, you can flavor each batch of chicken, so each meal separately. So you could have fajita ranch or fajita chicken, you could have ranch chicken, you could have adobo chicken, um, all mixed in. I also um, like to throw in a can of Rotel when I do this, so I have kind of that spicy Mexican chicken. Um, that is the 
my favorite part of the Instapot and the frozen chicken is I can cook once and have three or four meals planned out. Um, in the summertime, we spend a lot of time on the road, um, headed to the rodeos to secretary. So we take a lot of our lunches. So this has been our favorite favorite food prep method is we cook a bunch of chicken, we season it two or three, four different ways. Um, we may shred some, we may do chicken tenders and leave them whole. And then we have meals to throw in the freezer ready to go. Um, so when this comes out, we'll show you that aspect of it and we'll go from there.